Our practice today is a full body yin yoga class. You'll need two blocks, a strap, and a bolster. We'll begin in reclined butterfly. Bring the soles of your feet together and allow your knees to fall toward the earth, placing your blocks underneath your thighs. You can rest one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly, or rest both hands on the belly or simply turn your palms toward the sky, whatever's most comfortable for you. Take a moment to connect with your breath. Feel your breath travel from the low belly all the way up into your collarbones as you inhale. And as you exhale, release tension from your body. Finding a nice steady rhythm of breathing. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice if you'd like. And if you notice that your mind starts to wonder, come back to your intention, come back to the sensations in your body, and come back to your breath. Slowly bring your knees to touch. You can move your blocks out of the way and maybe just windshield wiper your legs from side to side. And then grab your strap, hug your right knee into your chest and bring your strap to the bottom of your right foot. Flex your right ankle and then begin to straighten the right leg up toward the sky. Give yourself enough slack on your strap so that you can rest your head and your shoulders on the mat. You can keep your left knee bent or you can begin to straighten the left leg, flexing through your left ankle, breathing nice and slow.
Begin to bend your right knee back in towards your chest, releasing your strap. And then take any little movements you need before switching sides. Hug your left knee in towards your chest, bring the strap to the bottom of the left foot. And then begin to straighten your left leg toward the sky. Give yourself enough slack on the strap so that you can rest your head and your upper body on the ground. You can keep your right foot planted on the earth with the right knee bent. Or you can straighten the right leg flexing through your ankle. Slowly begin to bend your left knee, releasing the pose. Hug your knees into your chest. And then make your way to a seated position and grab your blocks. We'll take melting heart pose. Bring your blocks out in front of you on the medium height. Shoulder distance apart, bring your elbows to your blocks, bring your hands together in prayer, and then bring your thumbs to the back of your neck as you melt your chest toward the earth, feeling the opening through the triceps, the armpits, and the chest here. The hips stay lifted. Breath is slow and steady.
make your way out of the posture and then move your blocks off the mat maybe take a few shoulder rolls releasing the upper body here and then come down onto your belly for lying chest stretch bring your left arm out to the side palm down ground through your right palm bending your elbow roll onto your left side as you bend your right knee and place your right foot on the earth behind you your right knee is pointing up toward the sky you should feel a stretch through the front of the left shoulder and the left side of your chest If the right foot doesn't touch the earth, you can always use a block under the foot. And you can also add a pillow or a blanket underneath your head if you need. Return to center and pause, stack your hands, and rest your forehead. And then switch sides, reach your right arm out nice and straight, palm down, ground into your left arm, bending your left elbow. Roll onto your right side as you bend your left knee, placing your left foot on the earth behind you. Your left knee is pointing up toward the sky. And again, you can always have a blanket under the head or a block under the left foot. You should feel this beautiful opening through the right side of your chest and your right shoulder. Keep your focus on your intention, your breath, and the sensations in your body. Come back to center, stack your hands once more, resting your forehead, and pause here for a few breaths. Press your way onto your hands and knees and grab your bolster 
for sleeping swan pose or pigeon pose. We'll start on the right side. Bring your right knee behind your right wrist. Your right foot is in front of the left hip. Your left leg is straight back behind you. Square yourself forward and then begin to fold over your bolster, resting your left ear on the earth if that's comfortable. With each inhale, find length in your spine. And with each exhale, see if you can soften just a little more. Make your way out of the posture, come to your tabletop, maybe wiggle the hips from side to side, or take a wide downward facing dog with your feet as wide as your mat, or any other movement that feels good before we transition to the other side. Whenever you're ready. We'll take sleeping swan on the left side, bring your left heel outside the right hip. Your right leg is straight back behind you. Square yourself toward the front of your mat. And then fold forward, resting your right ear on your bolster. Breathing into any areas you may be feeling tension.
nice and slow make your way out of the posture coming back to that tabletop maybe rocking from side to side with your hips or taking a cat cow or even a down dog And then when you're ready, make your way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest, pausing a moment. And then make your way into your corpse pose, straighten the legs. Allow your feet to naturally roll out. Turn your palms toward the sky and close your eyes feeling the support of the earth beneath you. I encourage you to rest here for the next several minutes. If you enjoyed this class, please like, subscribe, share, become a member, or donate for class. This is where I'll leave you. Thank you for practicing with me.